Okay, so um, we've had a couple of requests to uh, take a little look through the boat and, um, you know, just to kind of understand the layout of the LRC and, the and also the dinghy setup that we've got. So well, I'm just going to do that now um, and we'll start, uh, what, I guess we'll may as well start forward. So salon looking forward, um, lower helm obviously. And um, as you can tell, we're kind of living aboard here uh, full time. So you'll have to excuse the mess. So this is the forward berth, uh, V cabin. That's the chain locker there. And then we got drawers, drawers, drawers. And back behind here, there's a hanging closet. And here we have forward head. So head and shower. And, and that's that. Okay. So open the forward cabin, up a few steps, back into the salon. So um, this is the couch and uh, I've got a little beanbag bag chair over here, some the lamps and stuff over there. Storage We've got a bed. full galley and uh, TV. A couple of bar stools under the couch here. We've got some uh, some storage, engine room access down here, fuel manifold panel down here, and then we've got a starboard um, hatch and port hatch over here. Galley is a full fridge, freezer, and uh, convection microwave, electric uh, cooktop, and then um, then we've got some granite countertops and that's probably the thing that gets used the most that toaster oven over there we really enjoy that uh let's see heading aft uh what do we got four steps down electrical panel here ac on top dc on the bottom generator uh, and this is our uh power monitoring um for the ac um master stateroom and just clean walk around uh, again cluttered because we're living aboard so it's so we've got but everything that we've got uh, is uh, yeah, that uh, that we're using for the six months or eight months we're on the boat is here here we've got uh, aft stateroom uh, had shower and I guess uh, yeah in here there's another uh, full closet in behind here and, and TV so we'll head out here on the starboard side first and go forward, get uh, fuel and then waste here. Um, we've got uh, a lot of the canvas because of the uh, teak, teak railing, and we've got teak here under the, uh, under the windlass. Right now we're on the hook, so you can see we've got the snubber attached to the chain and we've got some slack from the snubber line back up to the windlass. So that way we've got uh, the load taken up here. Um, Cabell's kayak, it's just a vent window forward, uh, flybridge, and uh, we'll go down the uh, starboard companionway, up three steps onto the aft deck. So this is, I guess, aft deck's on deck, quarter deck, so there's three different names for this. Uh, I got some storage here on the starboard and port side and uh, kind of a bit of a workspace here with some extra chairs for people coming to dinner. Uh, we do have a mast um, and right now it's used to capture. I've got a spare anchor tied to it. We've got a sail there but that's more for Cabell's uh, craft and then vegetables. Um, what else we got here? Okay, so let's take a look after the Davit system. So the Davit system, that's the tender that we're using. Um, Tatsu, 20 horsepower, and I gotta say it's been working like a king. It's, it's great. So the system that we have, it's almost like a trailer. As you can see, there's a bow roller, and then there's four black main rollers that the tender sits on when it's up, and there's a hand crank right here. Uh, so for the most part, it just a uh, one hand crank. When all of the weight gets on the four, for about four turns, it takes two hands to crank it. 
but we've got an extra deep uh, swim platform to cover it off and it comes uh, comes on and uh, off pretty quickly and uh, it handles well in heavy seas uh, I haven't had to worry about that whatsoever so uh, let's see yeah let's go up to the fly bridge so the Flugenbridge um, this is actually this is a little helicopter flying days uh, we used to have a, a messenger that we just uh, a messenger bag that if we went in to hover over a submarine or uh, something we would have a, a bag called a messenger bag we would just lower it down and people would take out stuff or put stuff in for us um so a little bit uh a little bit crowded here now some floaties and stuff but a couple of nice seats here we've got three uh three helm chairs and um battleship steering wheel good view good visibility all around as you can see 360 degrees pretty much and um i'll get a little bit technical for people who don't want to uh see this you can skip forward but um let's see starting over here we get uh standby compass power levers uh, sorry uh yes yeah, so these are the uh, transmission levers We've got a uh, Shakespeare Galaxy um, that's for extended cell uh, coverage. Fruno depth sounder here. Um, power, uh, port engine, power starboard engine, transmissions, power, and uh, rudder angle indicator. And then we get a systems monitor here. This is going to be for the uh, for the port side uh, engine and bilge starboard side engine and bilge horn autopilot and uh, this is something that is new to us that i don't know how we ever lived without these are uh, pneumatic stabilizers so they're tied to fin a fin system on a port and starboard side and what they do is they compensate for roll so normally when you would have um, a heavy roll in the c state four with a beam c uh, or C state three with a beam C, it can get pretty rough. C state two, with those turned on, you can lay your coffee on the dash. Uh, depth sounder, and uh, we've got um, a Raymarine. Um, this is a new piece of kit that uh, we picked up earlier, um, and uh, we're really, really pleased with it. It displays AIS. Um, it's got what I like about it is an electronic radar. So as you can see, um, it doesn't have a magnetron, so it, it doesn't burn a whole lot of power. It uses very little power, and it's almost instantaneous. It also has a Doppler mode. So what happens is everything is white except for a contact that's going the same way as you. Uh, they would be green, and if it was coming towards you, it would be red. So in a confused uh, harbor, uh, if you want to be able to understand what's coming towards you, uh, it's pretty easy. You just set the uh, set the Doppler radar. So uh, so we're pretty pretty satisfied with uh, with that bit of technology. Uh, that's a chart plotter. Right now we're uh, in Marsh Harbor, and uh, zoom that one out a little bit. Uh, so we're in the Abacos. This is the uh, Great Abacos Island. This is the area that got hit the hardest, right where we are now. That got absolutely destroyed you see the greenhouse over there the roof is off a lot of buildings around here they got flattened you see sailboat over there that's half sunk you can see all those docks that got ripped and torn apart and um, quite a number of those boats out there have been abandoned and we got one here behind us that was abandoned another one down there off in the distance it's uh, kind of on its side so you see the pink building over there <clears throat> so so this is where where we uh, We've been for the past week and then over here uh, we're, we got uh, Cavell's sister coming today so we're gonna head over to Hopetown Elbow Key so that's Hopetown in here and spend a few days and then we're gonna make our way back up over to this way uh, eventually get to West End and then West End we're gonna launch off sometime and uh, the next couple of months and head up we're gonna do a straight run I think up to up to Savannah anyway uh, enough about that um, autopilot last thing so that's it that's a tour of uh chasing 28 and uh hope uh, hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions uh feel free to ask uh just throw them in the comments below 
and uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, the tour of uh, LRC, hall number 28, uh, 42 Hatteras. Um, that's it.